So there's some people saying that Nick Diaz possibly has CTE-like symptoms because he slurs his words a little bit. Maybe he's not the best talker. We're going to compare some old interviews with the current interview that we have that just came out not too long ago. In a, in a great jiu-jitsu academy, you can uh, you meet a lot of wrestlers, you know, and they're going to need to learn jiu-jitsu from you, so you're going to be able to learn your wrestling from them. And anything that I did, I learned from, but it was because, like, you know, of my own ignorance as to what, because, you know, I didn't have no one, my dad wasn't around like that, you know what I mean? You know, I'm going to try to set up my punches, I'm not going to let them breathe, uh, I'm going to try to set up the body punch, you know, I'm going to set up the knee to the body, I'm going to set up the knee to the leg, I'm going to put him on the fence, I'm going to control his wrist. And if it is that you're just like, oh, I'm standing over your brother because I want to torture your brother, you trust me, you have nothing against my younger brother because, like, he didn't do anything or say nothing. I'm not the one that antagonizes, you know, stuff like that, I don't try to, like, get in fights on the street. Or whatever, but you know, if, if you know, it's it just uh, sometimes it kind of I find my way in, into these sort of correlations or whatnot. Luke Thomas says he doesn't believe he sounds the same, and he comes from a concerned place, as he's saying he doesn't want Nick Diaz to take any more blows if he has something going on with his head. He did not sound the same to me, and, that, and when I say sound, I mean from an auditory standpoint. He did not sound the same to me, and I think trying to argue that he was when you can go and look up old interviews he did during his Elite XC or Strike Force or even, you know, some of his first or second run UFC shows. To me, there's a big difference. And he's not alone. Caesar Gracie, Nick Diaz's old jiu-jitsu training coach, when asked, "Does he want Nick to fight again?" He said, "This." Um, if it's good for him. After I saw that interview with you, I was kind of concerned, Errol. To be honest with you, I was like, "Man, maybe, maybe this guy uh, has he gotten some CTE damage here? What, what's going on here?" And no one wants to see that. You know, who cares about the money and stuff? Your health and your life is forever. It's the other stuff is just, you know. He also went on to say that he will help him train if he wants him to, and will possibly be in his corner and supports him, and says that he probably can beat Jorge Masvidal. And who's to say Nick Diaz didn't drink a couple shots or maybe smoked a blunt before the interview? And we need more interviews to go off of if we want to say that he has CTE. I mean, this is the first time he's talked in quite a long time.